15 from the 34. Step back, but here comes the pressure. And he's sacked. Pinder goes down, sacked for Barton, and that was Deontay Osby who came in with the sack. Yeah, down nine to seven. A stop right here wouldn't be too bad, and it got bad of the way. Barton defense coming up when they needed it, and that was Christian Brown who came in to tip it. So Brown getting that long arm of the law up, and it's fourth down, and Erskine will punt it away back to Barton. That's how we're at nine to seven as we are just scratching the surface here of second quarter play. Flippin will keep it. What a way to come back into the game. Tyler Flippin, a couple defenders in his way, but he pushes them back. He's past the 40 yard line, close to the 45. Talk about a dual threat quarterback. Bennett Caldwell sends it away. Popoff Trapina will field it at around the 35 yard line. Took a hard hit at the end, but he got past the 40. That's where Barton will start on their next touch. Be a little anxious to get back into the end zone. Tyler Flippin again with two in the backfield. Hand off to Jordan Terrell. Terrell broke one tackle, trying to break two. He's well into Erskine territory, scurrying past the 50. Yeah, nice dip on the Now Flippin, third and goal from the seven. Flippin, now he'll step back. Pressure is coming. He got it away though to Jordan Terrell. And Jordan Terrell into the end zone for the Barton touchdown. Two minutes for the break. And here is Flippin. Drops back, now steps up. Tyler Flippin still going to the 25, the 30, and more. Walks out just short of the 40. All the way down to the 17 yard line. Now we're talking, now Barton's got something going. Here goes Lynch, he'll hand it off now. All the way, and then look, the room opens up for Jordan Terrell. And that is a Barton touchdown. Jordan Terrell with the score. Uh, how about this too, Michael? You cannot do any of this without such a talented team. Our Barton College Football live production crew. You see Emily, Kelly, McKenzie, Abby, Neil. You've got some, uh, some Barton student athletes in there as well. It takes a village and we've got one. Johnson who's been the target on the first two from Flippin. Third and four from the 31 for Barton. Down by seven early on first quarter. One goes in motion, flipping now will step back. Now up in the pocket he goes. Toss, wide open, no one's there. Jackson Peril took a big chunk out of it as Peril almost went the distance, but that was 30 plus on a busted play. Here's Satterfield who will go down. Satterfield sacked. Osby again. Yeah, going back to that point too, Michael, about what head coach Chip Hester said before halftime, winning a f on first down. You know, cutting it in half is a good way to start. Here goes Jaquan Lynch. Lynch picking up a first down, still going to the 30, to the 40. Jaquan Lynch tiptoeing on the sideline, gets it into Wingate territory. How about the mobility of Lynch? Yeah, great play by the freshman. Catch up to him. Here's Lynch. Lynch now will step up. Here he goes again. Jaquan Lynch to the 40 and tripped up as he got past the 35. And Brown doing all he could there. Here's Lynch. Second and long. Lynch back. Now up. He can show off the speed. Jaquan Lynch the corner. And Lynch is in for the Barton touchdown. Lynch with the score. Yeah, this sets up really well for Barton. Just getting going here in the second quarter. Lynch, deep ball. He's got a man wide open. Touchdown, Barton. Reeled in, that's Jackson Peril for six. And he was wide open. No one was going to get in the way of Jackson Peril. And Barton's on the board on a Saturday night. About 12 minutes to go here, second quarter. Here is Catrice Cook, and Cook will go back. Barton with Brandon Jackson that time. Jackson hunting out Cook and stopped him cold. You know, Barton knows all about youth. Newberry kind of going through some of the same growing pains, if you will. A lot of young players. Second and 13, 
Here's Harris, pressure alive. Harris got out of another possible Noah Johnson sack. That one's picked off. First interception of the season for Barton, taken by Franklin Wheeler. Wheeler got it. Probably not the throw Harris wanted on the turnover. Barton's offense staying in on fourth and nine. Jaquan Lynch is on the move. Lynch can run, he picks up the first down. Newberry keeps sending Jaden Turner in motion. There he goes again, and Turner will get it from Harris. Ball is out, Barton leaps on it. Going the other way, Connor Stanley. Stanley's still on his feet, and he's down at the 20. Third and nine from the 20, Barton down by three. 12.30 left in this game. Lynch escaped, he's still on his feet, he's not down yet, Jaquan Lynch to the 40, 45, 50. Look at Lynch go, churning and charging into Newberry territory. Wherever you're streaming it from, batting it down. Here we go again, fourth and six. Deja vu, Harris, here comes the pressure. Dre Harris stepping up, he's gotta get six yards, he's not gonna get them. Turnover on downs, Barton football. Another look to the grandstands. They're out in force. They wanna see a Barton win. Pretty big spot of revolutionary war history there in Yorktown. Second and seven now from the 40. Whitley on the move, Whitley goes down. Barton on it defensively and that's Alex Gouda. Gouda gets to Whitley and takes him down. Yeah, pressure immediately. By Still scoreless, 7.34 to go, opening quarter of this scrimmage contest, Barton and Lewisburg. Hand off again, Malcolm Wilson Jr. Wilson Jr. trying to cut to the outside. Hard shove as he's pushed out of bounds, got pushed by Aaron Gamble. No flags come in, but that was pretty hefty there to shove Wilson Jr. into the yard to gain marker. See a big dose of Malcolm Wilson Jr. here in the final game of the spring. Second and two from the 36 for Barton. Back underway, clock rolls, 7-10 to go. Again, Malcolm Wilson Jr., there he goes. He broke two tackles. Malcolm Wilson Jr. got tackled before he broke it. He was stopped by Christian Leonard, but Malcolm Wilson Jr. almost burst. He Promised you a little bit more information about Lewisburg. We'll touch on that in a second. Another handoff now to Robinson, and he's tackled in the backfield. Barton got him back there, Shane Perry. Yeah, the big penalty through the air set Lewisburg up in a good situation. Thought maybe they'd drive again, but Barton stands tall in this scrimmage contest. They'll get it back. Here's Cameron Johnson from the 35-yard line. Hustles around. Johnson on the move to the 30 and out of bounds. There you see Cameron Johnson. It goes field goal try for Bear Huggins. Flipping holds, Huggins up and good. Barton's on the board, Bear Huggins. What a name. For Lewisburg with 43 ticks remaining in the first half. 7-3 game, Lewisburg on top. Whitley keeps, Whitley will throw it, picked off. Barton got it, picked off by Colby Anderson, and Anderson is going to give the Bulldogs one last chance before halftime. Whitley on third and 11, drops back, now scurries, and he goes down. Duo tackle that time for Barton. One of those was Alex Gouda again who came in, fourth down. With the running of Wilson Jr. Devin Brooks with a loaded backfield here on first and 10, can hand it to anybody. Instead, he'll give it here to Laquan Brown, and Brown jumps past the 35 yard line. Devin Brooks. Faking the handoff, Brooks will send it to a wide open Anton Popoff Trapina. Touchdown, Barton Bulldogs. Nobody was on APT, D. Beautiful play action pass there. Third and five from the 20 yard line for Lewisburg. Barton after the touchdown, they wanna to try to get a stop, get the ball back. And that one's intercepted. Interception for Barton, it's a pick six and it's Mike Webb, Webb. Picks it off, goes the distance, only had to go 20 yards, but that's a pick six, the first of the year on defense for Barton. They lead 16 to seven. 
And also that the pick six never hurts that Mike Webb got probably the highlight of the spring there for Webb if you throw out the Tyler Flippin receiving touchdown on the first play of the spring back in, in late February against Erskine that came on a trick play. Lewisburg first and 10 from the 38. Oh, there goes the defense for Barton. All over it, Shane Perry that time in with the behind the line tackle. Second and 19 from the 25. Whitley had to catch it one-handed. Rolls, throws, intercepted. Picked off again, Barton got another one. That's Connor Stanley. Stanley tracked it down, INT number two of the day. Oaks, a little bit of time, now pocket collapsing. Oaks is gone. Noah Johnson got to him. Johnson to Oaks, quarterback sack, fourth down. We'll enjoy that after we wrap up. This is it right here, fourth and 12 for Lewisburg. Oaks got hit hard, and that one's intercepted. Another pick for Barton. This time it's Kendarius Jenkins. And Jenkins, he's gonna go all the way. Another pick six for Barton, their second of the day. Jenkins picked it, went all the way back. Kendarius Jenkins. Sun bright in the sky, pointing right at us here, setting. As we move past 5.30, coming up on 5.45. Oaks, intercepted again. Barton, another one. Who is it this time? It's Damian Spikes. Spikes, four picks today for Barton's defense. Four of them. Second down, six seconds left. From the 20 here for Lewisburg, more than likely final play of this game, unless it's incomplete, unless it's a quick pass. Two seconds left, Whitley on the move, almost stumbled. Whitley is down. That's it. 24 to seven, the final. And for the first time in 70 plus years, since the late 40s, early 50s, Barton, the Bulldogs, winners on the gridiron.